while 50% of our YouTube audience is busy debating whether there is scope in biotech or not in India, there are more than thousands of biotechnologists who moved on, who went on to discover something great. And this video is about them. So today we are going to talk about top 10 unbelievable discoveries, biotech discoveries from India or by Indians based out of any other country. And these are the things you can't even imagine. Now, number one on my list is Dr. Mihir Metkar is best remembered for his work in Moderna for the mRNA vaccine. So Mihir, uh, a former Biotechnica subscriber and a student, he went on, learned bioinformatics, he got a job in Moderna and that is where, how we got to know this is the patent filing of this mRNA vaccine, which was created by Moderna, mentions Mihir Medkar as one of the co-inventor who reverse engineered the virus, the COVID pandemic virus, and created that mRNA vaccine, which went ahead and protected so many Americans. So this is a matter of great pride, but yes, Dr. Mihir Medkar was a key co-inventor in this uh, Moderna mRNA vaccine. Now, the number two on my list is one of my mentors and a very popular uh, figure in the biotech um, arena. And we, uh, he's also a fellow trustee at uh, iBiome. And um, he is almost like a celebrity to all of us. His name is Dr. Manish Paul. He is one of the co-inventors of um, antibiotic recently uh, made in India. So it's a made, made in India uh, antibiotic. And the name of the antibiotic is N-metazobactam. And he's one of the co-inventors. He was working on this project. He was a project lead when this particular antibiotic was discovered. And then uh, today, this um, particular n metazobactam is now available in the market. And uh, it has passed through all the clinical research trials. And uh, FDA has given the approval for various um, uh, diseases. So antibiotic from India and the co-inventor, Dr. Manish Paul. Now, going ahead for the third and very popular discovery, and this is by... Dr. Krishna Ella and his team at um, Bharat Biotech. So Dr. Krishna Ella and his team has uh, developed artificial hepatitis B vaccine. And this is world's first indigenously developed recombinant hepatitis B vaccine. The name is Revac B. Now this is a significant milestone in the world of vaccine technology and India is leading the way thanks to Bharat Biotech. Now Revac B is a very affordable effective vaccine, which is instrumental in combating hepatitis B. Every year, millions of people lose their lives because of hepatitis and Revac B is a great promise to that. Now, the fourth one, which uh, uh, Indian or an India-based scientist has done is Zykov D. So Zykov D is again world's first DNA vaccine for COVID-19, was developed by Zydus Cadilla, and it becomes the world's first plasmid DNA vaccine for COVID-19. Now, it is unique in that it uses a DNA plasmid vector to trigger an immune response, and it is administered without a needle, making it easier to distribute and administer. So this is world's first DNA vaccine by an Indian company called as Zydus. Now next, which we have is the GM Mustard. I'm, I hope you have already heard of it. So Dr. Deepak Pentel and his team at uh, Delhi University developed the Dhara Mustard Hybrid 11, DMH11, which is a genetically modified uh, variety of mustard and this GM mustard aims to improve crop yield and oil quality which can significantly boost our Indian agricultural productivity and reduce the country's dependence on other countries for mustard or edible oils. The sixth one which we have is Rotavac or Rotavirus vaccine. Now like you can see in the vaccine technology arena India is leading the way and Rotavac vaccine by Bharat Biotech again is an indigenous vaccine for rotavirus infections. Now this is the leading cause of diarrhea among infect, infants is rotavirus. And rotavirus infections is highly lethal and that is where rotavac uh, vaccine comes into picture. Again, highly affordable vaccine being used in third world countries as well as developing countries and manufactured proudly by uh, Dr. Krishna Ayala and his team at Bharat Biotech. Now followed by that, we also have CRISPR-based diagnostic tool called as Feluda. So, named after a famous fictional detective Feluda, CRISPR-Cas9-based diagnostic tool developed by Dr. Deva Jyoti Chakravarti, Dr. Sovik Maiti from CSIR-IGIB. This is a tool which provides a 
quick and accurate tests for detecting COVID-19 and other diseases, making diagnostics more accessible and more affordable to the poor people. Now, this is the seventh uh, innovation from an Indian. Let's move on to three more today. And the next one which I have for you is a biodegradable plastic from agricultural waste. Now, researchers at IIT Guwahati developed a biodegradable plastic using agriculture waste, which can be a sustainable alternative to traditional plastics. Now, as you know, traditional plastics, which was first manufactured probably a century ago, still sits in somewhere on our soil polluting our environment. But if we have biodegradable plastic, then it is a great move, move towards a sustainable way of living. And this has been developed by researchers at IIT Guwahati, which is obviously in India. Now, moving on to the ninth one, which we have is a stem cell therapy for blindness. Now, as you know, Dr. Arvind Kumar and his team at LV Prasad Eye Institute developed a stem cell therapy to restore the visions in patients with corneal blindness. Now, this tre treatment has restored sight to many who, who were previously thought to be incurable. Imagine using stem cells, you can cure blindness. And this is the ninth innovation from an Indian. And that's what makes me say we are proud to be Indians. And all I can say before I tell you the 10th point is you should also be proud of Indians. You should also be proud of these scientists. And you should also strive to be scientists like them. See, there will always be noise about scope and uh, growth and uh, money but if you are passionate about the field nobody can stop you from growing I am the living example and these nine people nine scientists which I talked about are a living example now moving ahead with the tenth one which we have is an electronic nose for disease detection have you heard of it let me know in the comment section so researchers in IIT Bombay developed an electronic nose a device that can detect disease like tuberculosis by analyzing the breath samples this non-invasive invasive diagnostic tool is a promising development for early disease detection especially in resource limited settings such as India where we have more poor people who cannot afford even one time. India is a poor country. India dis demands and deserves more scientists like you who can make living affordable and easy for the middle class and the poor class. And instead of worrying about whether there is scope, all you have to know is you are the person who is going to build that scope. You are the person who is so much passionate that you are going to win the world of biotech using your innovation, using your research, and using your creativity. So instead of bothering about this, focus on what you can do today. We are also coming up with various case studies about successful biotech scientists in India or abroad and what exactly they did. And you can go and check out. The link is given in the description. So these case studies will be published now in the Non-Biotechnica website. If you or anyone says that there is no scope in biotech, show them this video or you can show the link which I have given in the description so that they are aware that biotech is playing a major role in the development of our nation. And of course, it has got scope, but only for those who are passionate for it, which is all of you. Thank you so much for watching this video. See you soon in the next one. Till then, keep shining. Take care. Bye-bye.